Jasmine here from How to Electronics. This project is all about color detection and tracking with ESP32 CAM module and OpenCV. Here, we will be detecting any specific colors during live video streaming. This method is completely different from the color detection methods as we are not writing the color detection code for microcontroller. Rather, we will use our laptops for Python code. This method makes the processing faster. Here we have used the ESP32 CAM module which is a small camera module with ESP32S chip. Besides the OV2640 camera and several GPIOS to connect peripherals, it also features a micro SD card slot that can be useful to store images taken with the camera. The method of color detection used here is HSV or hue saturation value conversion. Initially, we will write the C code for ESP32 CAM and then install Python and the required Python libraries. Later, we will go through the Python programming for using OpenCV. This is an essential tutorial as you will be able to use any sort of image processing or machine learning on the live video for color detection. Hence, without getting any delay, let's get started with this interesting project. This video is sponsored by my favorite PCB manufacturer company called NextPCB. They offer PCB board and PCB assembly services at the lowest affordable price. You can get trial PCB, 2 layer PCB and 4 layer PCB with free PCB assembly shipping services up to a fast lead time of 24 hours. All you need to do is visit nextpcb.com and upload the garbage file. Select PCB quantity, color, material type and other details. Then place an order. You will get the high quality PCB within 48 hours. Welcome back again. This is an ESP32 based camera module developed by AI Thinker. The controller is based on a 32 bit CPU and has a combined Wi Fi plus Bluetooth or BLE chip. This is the OB2640 camera module, which has the highest camera resolution up to 1600 x 1200. The board supports an SD card up to 4 GB. The SD card stores capture images. Its GPIO pins have support like UART, SPI, I2C, PWM, ADC, and DAC. The board can be used in the image processing applications. The board does not have an onboard programmer, so in order to program this board, you can use any type of USB to TTL module. Please follow this connection diagram for programming and use. The programming method and different modes of operations have been explained in earlier videos. To make this board portable and stand alone, I designed a 3D casing. I used solid work to design the 3D casing and then converted the STL files into a G code. I used my Creality 3D printer to print all the parts. It took nearly 2 hours to print the case. After printing was done, I removed the casing from the surface and eliminated the useless extra support part. This is a pair of casings but both have a different height. The enclosure can be closed using a bottom part that fits perfectly on the casing. Alright, it's time to fit the ESP32 CAM module. There is a hole in the casing one for the camera and the other for the LED flash. You can simply insert the CAM module and tighten it. A small battery, probably lithium ion or lithium polymer can be installed here inside the box to power on the entire circuit. I'm not using any battery right now as I will like to power it through the USB cable. Let's move to the project part now. This project uses a code from an ESP32 CAM library created by your Sunny. This library supports ESP32 CAM in OV2640 camera. You can download the GIF file and add it to the Arduino IDE using library manager. Now open your Arduino IDE and from examples open a file called Wi-Fi CAM. In this example, you just need to change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. The code is the same as per the previous projects. To upload this code, select the ESP32 rover module from board list. Also, select the COM port. And then click on the upload button to upload the code. Open the serial monitor once code uploading is done. Remove the shortening jumper and press the reset button. If everything is fine, then you will see the camera OK message on serial monitor and the local IP address of the camera will also be printed. 
Now go to your web browser and download the Python latest version. Python is required because the machine learning and image processing part is done by Python libraries. After the Python gets downloaded, complete the installation process. Now we need to install two Python libraries on your operating system, that is NumPy and OpenCV. Follow the website article of How to Electronics to install the required Python libraries. Copy the following code and paste it on any Python editor. Copy the IP address from the serial monitor of Arduino IDE and replace this IP address in the Python editor code. This is a complete color detection code, HSV, also known as HSV, is a conversion that is available in the OpenCV library. It is very widely used to detect specific colors, but a limitation to this is that there are some constant values related to detection which vary from different objects and places. We will convert the RGB image to an HSV image and then we set a lower bound of all three values that is hue, saturation and brightness and also an upper bound. Thus whatever comes in that range is what we desire to see. Go to run and then click on the run module option. Once you hit run, immediately three windows will appear with live transmission mode, mask mode and race mode. The fourth is a box for setting the tracking option. Now as in the above frame, we wish to track the orange color. Therefore, we adjust the LH, LS, LV, UH, US and UV values from the tracking bars in the tracking window by sliding them. Use your mouse to slide all the arrows. Adjust three bars values such that at the mask window, white color appears only at orange colored places as in the image below. Once the value is adjusted, modify the code as shown here. Set the LB and UV values by representing with the numbers in the code. Then comment few of these lines to disable the manual operations. Modify the code again by adding some lines and also assigning some values. Again hit the run button to run the code. So now you can see the orange color is automatically detected. Congratulations you have detected the orange color. Similarly by adjusting the tracking bars you can detect any specific colors. Now our next step is to draw a counter around the colored image and specify the average center coordinates of the detected color. To do so, save the LH, LS, LV, UH, US and UV values in the track bar window from the previous program. Then modify the code as I did here. Now run the code. So here is the real image. The code work like a charm. Similarly, you can detect any specific colors or color by adjusting HSV values and creating as many counters. This is how you can use the ESP32CAM along with OpenCB for color detection and tracking. This project can be implemented at an advanced level along with the application of machine learning and AI. All the documentation, libraries, details, code and written explanation of the project is perfectly documented on how to electronics. I hope you like this video, so please drop a like, comment and thank you so much for watching.